Hi, let us understand how to handle versions using command line interface. In the earlier lecture, we discussed about various options available as a part of handling the versions within KV Secret Engine. Now we are going to see the same options within the CLI. Within the CLI, I can use the option metadata, that is vault KV metadata and get the path. That's going to list all the versions that are available. It's going to provide the details on what is the current version and the other details. Let me get the specific version that is version 2 using the command vault kv get dash version equal to 2. That's going to get me the version 2 and the data. Using this, I can get any specific version that I want it. And every path by default, it's going to maintain maximum of 10 versions. I can restrict that using the configuration settings for all the paths within any secret engine. Say for example, for all the path within the secret KV secret engine, if I wanted to set the maximum version as 4, I can write the configuration over there using the option vault write secret slash config. This is going to impact all the paths available within the secret. In case if I wanted to set this particular value against any specific path, I can change the metadata using the command vault kv metadata put dash max dash version equal to 4 and then the specific path. Now let me get the metadata for this specific path using the command vault kv metadata get and the specific path. Yes, I do have this many versions. Now, now let me go ahead and add few more values to this particular path. I am adding n number of put against the path with different values for the key contact name and support underscore email. So this many number of versions got created. Now let me go ahead and check the metadata for this particular path. So here it's restricted to four versions only and the remaining values are deleted. So it's going to list only the four versions. The oldest version is 10 and the current version is 13 and only four versions are available. In case if I wanted to get the second version, I can use the command get with the option dash version. It's going to provide the error message no value found because we asked the secret engine to maintain only four versions. And if I try to get any version that is available, I will be in a position to get. Say for example, if I request for the version 10, I can get it because the path is maintaining only the version from 10 to 13. And I can delete any specific version with the command delete dash version. The command is vault kv delete dash version and the version number. Here I am going to delete the version 12 and 11 within the specific path. Now let me get the metadata about the path. Here, since I am doing a delete, it is going to use the soft delete. It is going to update the value deletion date when that particular command was executed. For the version 11 and version 12, the deletion date is updated and not for others. So it is going to mark this particular version as deleted. The same thing if we verify through the web UI, Within history, I do have version 10, 11, 12 and 13. The latest version or the current version is 13 and version 11 and 12 is marked as deleted. Now I can go ahead and undelete any specific version with the command undelete. Vault kv undelete dash version and the version number that I wanted to undelete. Now if I check the metadata, for the version 11, the deletion date will be removed. In case if I wanted that to be deleted permanently, I can use the command destroy. Vault kv destroy and then dash version and the version number with the path. Now let me check the metadata. Version 11 is marked as destroyed. That means I cannot undelete or I cannot retrieve the value. Let me try to retrieve the value version 11. I do not have any data because it is destroyed permanently. And if I wanted to delete 
all the versions, I can use the command metadata delete and the path. Now let me get the metadata and the path. I will not get any values. So we discussed about how to handle the versions. The same way I can make any specific version to get deleted after X number of seconds. I'm going to create a path and set the configuration delete version after as 30 seconds. Vault KB metadata put and within this particular path, I am setting the flag delete version after 30 seconds. So what will happen automatically, it will delete the version after 30 seconds. Let me write the data. I am writing three versions and it's going to add this particular deletion date 30 seconds than the current time. Let me retrieve the metadata. I do have three versions and here I do have the flag delete version after 30 seconds. So it's going to add this particular deletion time as created time plus 30 seconds. So automatically it will mark as deleted after that many number of seconds. I can use the metadata after 30 seconds and it is marked as deleted. So I cannot retrieve the data or any specific version. Let me try. Version 1, I am not able to get. Let me try version 3. This can be verified within the web UI as well. I can get into the auto expiry. The version 3 has been deleted. Now, once again, let me go ahead and update the value. I'm going to add three more versions and check the web UI. I do have the versions 6, 5, 4 and 3 and only 4 versions are being maintained because as a part of the secret we change the configuration to maintain only 4 versions globally. I am able to get into the version 5 and after 30 seconds it's going to mark all the version as deleted. I'm not getting any value. Version 4 also I do not have any value. That means it's marked as deleted. So in a quick summary, we saw different options available to handle the versions using the command line interface as well as how to set the delete version after with X amount of duration and its uses.